Put the bangs. No. If your bangs ain't right, then. Hi, angels. Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I've been like here in my room. But anyway, anyway, I know. Anyway, I know you clicked on this title for my curly hair routine. So we're gonna get straight into it. So my hair is wet, it is not washed. This is included with the wash day. As you guys know, I have three B to three C hair and I have been trying to master the perfect curly hair routine for the longest. So I just realized I just went right into it, but sorry, rewind. So I'm gonna go through all of the products that I'll be using today. So, Olaplex. N4 Bond Maintenance Shampoo. A bit pricey, but worth it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything with you guys. I'm gonna show every depth of this routine. So, Olaplex Shampoo, and what I was doing is I put it on my roots in the front of my head. That's like all I do. I go like all around my roots, so I just... And this bottle has lasted me a very, very long time. If you have a Nordstrom gift card, this is what I do with my Nordstrom gift card. I buy hair products. And then I like just go all around like to the back and stuff. But anyway, we're gonna do Olaplex, that's the first one. And then, this is a new one. It's called the Next of Us Low Prosperity Leave-In Conditioner. So this is specific, specific for low prosperity hair. And it has, it's for 3A to 3C hair. So I love like how specific this product is and I love it. So I just spray it. I'm gonna like go through all of them before I go into this. But the next one is for low to high prosperity hair. It's also my next of us. And it's a styling gel. So definitely a styling gel. It doesn't have to be these specific ones, but you're gonna definitely need a styling gel and then like a curl, like smoothie, like cream. So the one that I'll be using, it's kind of ratchet. My top is gone, but it's the Melel Pomegranate and Honey Curl Smoothie. Absolutely love. I have been new to Melel ever since I like dyed my hair. So I have been like testing, testing products and Melel has been working really, really good. So Curl Smoothie by that. And then two more products are the new Rice Water Collection by Melel, which I am trying to grow out my hair. So this is, if you're, my ladies who are trying to grow out their hair, this is a great product to get into. And moisturizing milk, so I also use this as just like a moisturizer. And then Olaplex N8 Bond Intense Moisturizing Mask, okay. So I know you guys are like, girl, she's using all this Olaplex. Guys, um, this will just give you the best definition of your life. So I take like a quarter size amount, not too much, because again, it's expensive. It's expensive. Christmas is coming up. Ask this for Christmas. Ask this for your birthday, because it's a great long-term investment for your hair. And I just go in with this to my ends, like just my ends. Okay. So you have a shampoo in your roots, the Olaplex shampoo in your roots. The um, mask on your ends, because I have really dry ends. I'm gonna go in with more. I just see like dollar signs as I do that. But anyway, get back into that. And then another part of this, I'm gonna be showing you the items I use. So I use a Dyson diffuser. Dyson Diffuser is a bit pricey. I asked this for Christmas last year and um, it's the best thing I've ever gotten for Christmas. But there is a lot of dupes for it on Amazon, so I never tried the dupe. My mom has a dupe and she said it works pretty similar. And don't think that the, this doesn't give any frizz. Frizz is all like made up by your diffusing process. So I'm gonna I'll show you my diffusing process. So there's this. And then the two like, Four items I'll be using is you're gonna need a, like a claw clip. I use a Deadman and a wet brush, and then my pick. So, all very essential things. So I let this shampoo sit as long as I possibly can. That's why I put it on in the very beginning because it just needs to go. And as I do that, you guys are like heaven. If you're doing a wash, you're gonna need a conditioner. So I use the moisturizing rice water milk as my conditioner. I take so much of this. And I put this in the middle of my hair. So think of it as like topping my shampoo on my roots. The moisturizing milk being 
in the middle and then the mask working my ends and I either like do this in my dorm because I'm just at home for the weekend to film this video and now I my dog's barking it's not your dog trust me and then I just spin it get the ends too and then I'm gonna just hold it up so sorry for my dog barking but yeah so these are all the products guys I'm telling you I slowly 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 have been trying every single hair product on the market tried so many routines and this has been working for me consistently and I've gotten it down to a 20 20 to 30 minute routine so I just do this for like five ish minutes and we're gonna get into this next part so as I wait here the next scene I'm gonna go to my sink dump my head and rinse everything out so the next scene will be me with my hair wet and clean and if you're starting off with that get your stuff ready guys we're gonna do this together if you're new here make sure to subscribe follow me on Instagram for all the curly hair big fro love my 3C to 3A girls I'm literally trying to get a friend who has 4 4A to 4 be here so I can learn the ways, but anyway, I'm if you're new here, I talk a lot. Please subscribe. Stay tuned. I love you. Next clip. Okay, so now that I look like the Grinch, my hair is freshly washed, and this is in a microfiber towel. If you guys don't have a microfiber towel, then basically microfiber towels, they just def, like reduce frizz. But microfiber, if you don't have a microfiber towel, sorry, that's a tongue twister. Use a cotton t-shirt. So my hair is just washed. I just like rinsed it up in the sink. And it's dry. So um, I'm gonna take my wet brush and start detangling my hair. And I do this, like I just brush normally, nothing special about this, but I do add my leave-in right about now. I just spray like the parts that need some extra moisture that I don't wanna like rip out my hair while I'm brushing. This product smells so good. So it makes it a lot easier. Me to tangle, look. See? Simple. And then once I'm done brushing through it, I'm gonna section it off. So if you are ahead of me and your hair is already brushed through, I would say get a clip ready for you to like um get a clip ready to use. But my ends, ever since I dyed my hair, guys. If you guys haven't watched my 24 hour tra transformation, click here. But ever since I dyed my hair, my ends are a lot drier, that's for sure. So I have to always show a little bit of extra, extra love to them. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do is take my fingers, I'm gonna separate everyone. This is for like my bangs. If you guys have like your little bangs and like the diva cut, this is for you. So I section off the top of my hair. I'm sorry if you hear my dogs barking, but separate the top of my hair from the bottom. I grab a good chunk. So if you guys wanna see like, it's not, it, has, it doesn't have to be a completely clean part, but just a good enough part where the top, you can tell, okay? Now you get that clip I was talking about. And we're gonna work with the bottom half of our hair first. So, this half. And what I do is I'm gonna add in the rice water again. Simple. Get it all over my hair, here. And I'm just gonna brush through. And this is just gonna detangle. We're still on like the detangling phase. We are not styling yet, my loves. Not yet. Okay. And if you guys see this motion I'm doing, I'm like grabbing my hair and like twisting it. I don't know, it's weird because I feel like it adds more curlage to it. But yeah, so now that that side's detangled, we're just gonna get this side all undone and get ready for like the fun. Well, 
The fun part's the end. This is not the fun part. This is just working so we can look cute. Okay. So that's all I'm done. Now, you're gonna take your styling brush. I use a Denman brush. And I'm gonna take my curl smoothie. I get a, a good amount. Like this amount would be good for both sides of my hair. So I'm gonna get there. You don't want your hair to be like white either. Like where when you brush it and it like stays white. Cause then it's gonna take longer for you to diffuse. Trust me, babes. Okay. So I'm just gonna go rush that. Oop. And as you can see, these curls are coming in. Get it all in there as well. See my end over here is tripping. Okay, now I get my styling gel. Styling gel is, I think, one of the most important parts. A good styling gel means, means a lot. You don't want one that flakes. You don't want one that is gonna do you dirty, get crunchy. And this one I found has been really good. It is the Styling Gel by Next of Us. It's sulfur free, paraben free, dye free, cool she free. And it's just amazing. So I just grab like a good amount of that. And then I go into the, like the back of my hair, really. And then a little bit of my front, but I start from the back because I feel like that's where I need my curls to hold the most. And then I get like my front area right here as well. And then that's literally almost it for the bottom half. Then I brush, the last part I brush like away from my hair. Brush, I pick it up, and brush away. Okay, so this side is done. Brush away from the face, up and away. And now we're gonna conquer the top part which I think can be a little bit more challenging. So bear with me, we're gonna cut to that. Okay, so as you guys see this big hot mess, I'm gonna go back in with this leave-in on the top. And it's kind of like self-explanatory. I'm kind of gonna do the same thing I did on the top, but I'm gonna, I mean on the bottom, but I'm gonna show a bit more love. I should not be detangling with this, okay. So as I did, I'm almost done detangling. It's gonna like fall into their places. Like it just kind of like shaped my face. Does that make sense? I know I look like a demon, but like I'll back up. It kind of like shaped my head. If that makes any sense, okay. So now that that's done, I'm going to go back in with this and this. Then grab these products. Ooh. Put that in. And just go in with that and then detangle again. So you guys see this? I put a little bit too much product. You don't want that white in your hair because it will literally take forever to dry. So I'm gonna just go in. You can literally only do this with a microfiber because it won't cause any frizz. So as I just did that, it took out some of the product. But if you make that mistake, there's a little hack. And now the, my front curls look gorgeous. And then the styling gel falls is like really important with this part. So watch closely guys. I have learned that twisting the front of your hair is the most important thing because as my girls with the bangs know, if your bangs ain't right, then your hair is not gonna be situated for the day. You're gonna look lopsided or just not, it's just not gonna vibe. So what I do is I twist. I grab like the section of the hair that I'm gonna twist 
Like in a top and a bottom. This can be like separated into a lot. You're, you'll know where to separate them as you go. So there's this top one. And I'm just gonna twist. I'll do this with a couple and then I'll like speed. Cause you guys will kind of get the hang of it. Then here, part into two, twist, and then twist. If you see the white here, it's okay, it's normal. Cause of the like movement I'm doing, like I'm basically squeezing the crap out of my hair. But if it gets to like that point, then you can just go like that. Okay. And basically I'm just creating coils. So look, I'll pick up this and then you'll see how it goes like Part it down that middle and then go in with that and this is very 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 crucial for the outcome of your hair I promise so definitely don't skip this step and then right. so I think you guys could kind of see the hang of it so So grab your diffuser, we're going to take a little moment. So there's two things that you can do. What I usually do with my hair routine is if you have to do your makeup, you can grab all your hair and get that clip and plop it up. You can only do this though when your hair is twisted or else it'll all be discombobulated. So there's also that and then I do my makeup. So I'm going to do that. Be back. Okay, so hi angels. That's like what I do usually. Definitely recommend because it saves a lot of time, but let's let these babies down and I'm going to get into this diffusing tutorial. I'm not going to turn on the air because it's going to be too loud for you to hear me, but you're going to put your diffuser on high heat and high volume and you're just going to circle around your hair. Once you've done that for two to three minutes, you're going to go inside the roots. Once you've done that for two to three, five minutes, you're going to lower the heat and then you're going to go for like five to seven minutes. And then after that, completely play around. Toss, 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 back, 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 fingers in. Do not, I repeat, do not pick your hair while it's wet. Create frizz, bad hair day if you do that. Leave this so your hair is completely dry to the root. So I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be on fast speed if you wanna try to keep up, but it's gonna be on mute. You're gonna listen to some cute music real quick. So, you ready? I can take your spot, my love. My love. My love. My love. My love. Now, if I wrote you a love note and made you smile at every word I wrote, what would, you do? would that make you want to change your scene? <sighs> okay you guys as you guys see like my hair like shrunk a whole bunch now this is another important part i hope your hair is dry try to do this when your hair is semi dry because you're not done diffusing you're gonna go in and separate the front curls you don't want them to be those big um curls right now because when we diffuse them you want them to still be defined and if you leave them in any longer then it will create frizz when you're moving them when they're completely dry. So when they're mildly dry, go ahead and separate those bad boys. And it literally only took me 15 minutes to get this to this point. If you guys are not new here from my channel, I usually take it used to take me like an hour to diffuse my hair, and that is because the, the more you wet your hair, the longer it's going to take. So I don't like do wash days in the shower because my hair will be drenched and I'll be sitting here forever. I just do mild shampoo, mask, wash it out in the sink and it works pretty well. But yeah, look at these curls coming out of these coils. They're looking really, really good. Just wait because... 
This allows your face to be framed by these bangs. I just wanna... But don't um, go in with a pick yet. Not yet, guys. That is the biggest no-no that I have learned. Okay. As I'm separating these curls, I'm gonna just make sure I don't have any big ones because that's just the key. So I'm gonna go back into fusing and then I'll see you guys when everything's somewhat situated. 2,000 years later. <sighs> okay, angels, long process, but, well, not too long, but once you kind of can go into your roots without feeling any sort of moisture, you are good. So, this is my pick. I'm gonna get my diffuser. If, you're diff if your um, diffuser head detaches, separate it, and you're gonna just need like the air. You can do cold, hot, doesn't matter. I do cold. I'm gonna have it on. I'm sorry, it's not that loud. And then I go like this. And then I put it in, in between my legs. Hold on. And then I go like this. I get all around. Okay, but then the key is to separate these banks. Like, look, you're gonna pick this whole section up, separate it, and then get in the middle of it, and then pick that area as well. It's just gonna add even more volume. As you guys just saw, my hair got massive. My hair got massive in a matter of seconds. And the back, will slowly come, so. That's it, you guys. That is literally it. Once you get it to a good size that you like, you can stop. I go through and go like this. I separate my curls. The more you play with it, the bigger it's gonna get. I separate my curls like that. So they don't sit with each other and pull each other down. And toss my hair. And that is it, y'all. This is my hair close up. You can see my hair from the back. Hope I'm getting all the angles of the curlage back there. This is her, another close up real quick. And that is it my angels. If this, let's just say you're like at the starting point and our hair doesn't look the same. I have multiple curly hair routines on my video. This routine might have not worked for you, but I have like three different other ones. So click here, go there for anything of that, that sort. And I'm gonna keep on playing with it, but this, is what it's looking like. Is what it's looking like. Alright, angels. If you guys like this video, if it was beneficial, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The angel shout out of the week. I already know who it is. But it's Carrie. I know her name is K E R I. Kira. I'm so dumb. Kira. She was super sweet. Text me back and all of that. Kira underscore TBH. Sweetest girl ever. Follow her. She's a curly headed cutie. Shout out to her, super sweet. If you want to be the nice anal shout out, link is in the description. And I hope you guys liked this. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Hauls, another curly hair routine. No, I'm just kidding, I can't do it like back to back. But next week's video. All right. I love you, angels. Have a great rest of your day. Okay, love you. Bye. Hey, angels, I'm back. But this is my hair. Um, day one kind of vibe like this is how it ended up being as big and beautiful to me like 10 o'clock at night and I just got back from a birthday party but hope you guys enjoyed it this is like a blooper reel so if you stayed this long drop a pumpkin because happy Halloween